There is this story about a shabby looking man carrying a bayong who enters a, a fancy car store. One car salesperson, looking down on the man, tries to shoo him away out of the store. Baka may makakitang ibang customer at baka madiscourage na bumili. But another salesperson entertains a shabby looking man as this man looks around at some of the most expensive cars available. At nagulat na lang sila nang naglabas ng cash mula sa bayong yung mama para bilhin yung pinakamahal na kotse sa showroom. Ang laking kahihiyan ng unang salesman at ang laking pagpapala sa ikalawang salesman. You may laugh, but we are all guilty of being partial to people due to appearances. We tend to be nicer to people who, who look impressive and we tend to dismiss people who look poor and powerless. The New Testament writer James had this to say about the error of showing partiality to the rich. My brothers, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man wearing a gold ring and fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in. And if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, you sit here in a good place, while you say to the poor man, you stand over there or sit down at my feet. Have you not then made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? How many times have we found ourselves in situations where we show partiality to those who are rich and famous and powerful? We are often impressed, uh, overwhelmed even, with power and wealth. When they become our guests in our homes uh, or in events that we host, aren't we guilty of being partial to them? Those who wear gold rings and fine clothing? And how many times have we found ourselves in situations where we discriminate against people in humble situations? Perhaps we may have been embarrassed to be associated with them. Minsan nga, ayaw nating madikit sa kanila um, dahil hindi maganda ang kailang amoy o nandidiri tayo sa kanila. God is not happy if we are like so. In His wisdom, God chose to show partiality to the poor of this world. God is shaping our minds and hearts by His insistence that we go against our natural bent to be partial to the rich by, by intentionally being partial to the poor instead. God is not impressed by external appearances, and therefore, so shouldn't we. God is more interested in the heart our hearts, which we are forced to examine when we take the effort to give special attention to the poor. When we make distinctions between people with fancy clothes and people with shabby appearances, it reveals the wicked tendency of our hearts to be partial to what impresses us most. We fail to see people for who they really are, as people all created in the image of God, whether they are rich or poor. So, let us train our hearts and minds to be partial to the poor. Open our lives to being with them, to having relationships with them, just as much as we seek to build relationships with people who impress us with their wealth and power. It helps us to be more like Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we do so, Always remember, faith matters.